Welcome back. Well, today's show is all about cherries, and we couldn't do a show about cherries without heading up north to Door County to see how they harvest those cherries. And the folks at Lottenbeck's Orchard in, in Fish Creek uh, are going to show us how it's done. Take a look. Uh, my great-grandmother, along with my grandparents, purchased the property in 55, and we've had a farm market since 75. Winery was established in 85. We have about 100 acres of property here, oh, about 80% of that being the Montmorency cherry trees, and some grapes, as well as apples and pears, um, about 8,000 trees on the property. We have pick your own cherries, and that would be the tart variety as well as a cherry pit spitting pit out back where they can take their cherries and spit their pits. We do have also guided winery tours every day and that shows the production process from both the pressing of the fruit to the making of the wine from the cherries as well. Average cherry tree contains about 7,000 cherries, and in about five to seven seconds, they shake that entire tree, and that's about 28 cherry pies out of those 7,000 cherries. Everything that we sell fresh by the roadside is um, hand-picked, but then all the rest is mechanically harvested. We used to, um, back when the cherry trees were first harvested back in the 60s, it took about 100 workers to pick all the cherries in about a two-week time period, whereas now they can shake everything off in about a one-week time period. Actually, a whole month, actually, it took the harvesting for the hand pickers. So. Here we have the uh, Balaton, it's a tart cherry as well, um, but it's a little bit later harvest tart cherry. It allows us to extend our season to stop much longer, about two weeks into August. Um, it's a little bit more firm than the Montmorency cherry, it's also a little bit meatier, so it's not going to be quite as juicy as the Montmorency, but great for cherry bounce, which is a nice recipe, old fashioned recipe, where you add liquor to cherries and then let it sit and ferment. and turn it into a great holiday drink. We feel Orchard Country is truly a destination. We have a lot going on here from picking their own fruit to heading back and taking a tour and seeing where that fruit is processed to then going into the farm market, tasting some of the wines used um, from the fruits grown on the property as well as taking some of that home.